Hello everyone, this is Mike History, and welcome to part 9 of What If Rome Never Fell. Now, last episode, we saw how both the Roman Republic and the Roman Empire were restored under the new Julius Caesar, Napoleon. But, just like the real Napoleon, it didn't last long. And so, what is happening next? Well, you will find out. The year is 1818. And the newly ascendant global power, the United Kingdom, and their breakaway colony, the United States, established joint control over Canada. During the 1820s, Eugenius de la Croix emerges as a major romantic painter in Rome. In 1822, Brazil declares independence, making it the second independent nation of the Americas. In 1825, Rupert Land is conquered by the United Kingdom, which gives its access to the Pacific, while in 1829, Western Australia is conquered as well by the United Kingdom. In 1830, Delacroix paints his iconic Liberty Leading the People, a classic example of Romantic art depicting the revolution that created the new Roman Republic. Between 1830 and 1837, the Roman conquest of Algiers occurs after diplomatic incidents between the two states. In 1831, Famous Roman author Victor Hugo publishes The Hunchback of Notre Dame, a classic example of Roman literature. Between 1832 and 1847, the Qadirian Wars against Algerian resistance leader Emir Abdelkader end in a Roman victory. And in 1835, in an attempt to avoid another revolution, the emperor bans political gatherings. In 1844, Alexander Dumas publishes The Count of Monte Cristo and The Three Musketeers, which are major examples of Romantic literature as well as classic Roman tales that will continue to be read up to this day. But in 1848, everything changes. After a crackdown on political meetings, the Second Roman Revolution breaks out, leading to revolutions breaking out across Europe. Emperor Charles flees Rome as the unrest grows. However, the revolutionaries soon begin infighting, leading to an opportunity for the imperial forces who begin a crackdown during the fall. Wallachia and Moldavia experience revolution against the nobility, while the Young Ireland Rebellion begins against the British, but these all fail. In Germany, demands for a liberal united government emerge, but fail while Denmark ends its absolute monarchy. Meanwhile, Hungarians, led by Lajos Lossuth, demand and create a liberal constitutional monarchy under the emperor, but with significant autonomy. Inspired, the Ukrainians do the same. But it's not to last. In 1849, the revolution is crushed, as Russians crush the Hungarians, while the Roman army quells its own liberal rebels, and Rome's new emperor is Francis, a relative of the former Emperor Charles. The age of Romanticism is over, and a new age emerges. The age of imperialism. It doesn't take long for this age of imperialism to become apparent. In 1853, distant New Caledonia is conquered by Rome. While that very same year, disputes over whether Rome or Russia would be protectors of the Christians in the Ottoman Sultanate results in the United Kingdom and Rome going to war with Russia in the Crimean War. Russia occupies the Ottoman vassals of Wallachia and Moldavia. In 1854, Roman and British troops land in Crimea to attack Sevastopol, the Russian naval base. And in 1856, the Crimean Wars War ends with Wallachia and Moldavia gaining independence and Roman prestige being restored. In 1858, Rome declares war on Dai Nam for its persecution of Roman Catholic missionaries. And in 1861, Rome conquers Naples. The following year, the Cochin China campaign ends with Dai Nam's defeat and the Roman conquest of Cochin China. And in 1863, Cambodia also becomes a Roman vassal. In 1866, the Roman-Prussian War breaks out as Prussia strives to unite Germany. Prussia's superior logistics, discipline, and morale leads to its victory. Schleswig, Holstein, Nassau, Hesse Castle, Frankfurt, and Hanover are all annexed by Prussia after the war. And in 1867, the North German Confederation is formed. In 1868, Rome's losses spark, sparks the Ten Years' War, where Cuba declares its independence. In 1870, the new Prussian-Roman War breaks out as Rome tries to reassert its dominance while Prussia tries to unify Germany. Once again, Prussian troops were superior, and they captured Emperor Francis. In 1871, the Prussian army reaches Rome, causing a revolutionary, a revolutionary movement to break out. 
William I of Prussia is proclaimed German Emperor in St. Peter's, while the Roman Emperor is forced to become a constitutional monarch. Germany now replaces Rome as the strongest continental empire in Europe, and gains Alsace-Lorraine. The 19th century clearly has been a disaster for Rome. The British have now permanently replaced them as the dominant world power, while now the Germans have replaced them as the dominant European power. In 1877, a Russo-Turkish war breaks out, and the following year, Russia wins the war, but Bosnia is given to Rome due to Russia being seen as having been given too much. The Ten Years' War ends also with the Cuban rebels being crushed, and so at least Rome is experiencing some benefits. However, just one year later, the Little War breaks out as a second attempt for Cuban independence. It ends in 1880 with Roman colonies gaining the right to attend the Roman Senate, but this is largely useless. Meanwhile, Petrus Savornian de Braza establishes Brazzaville and creates a protectorate in Gabon, which begins true Roman expansion into Africa. In 1881, the Roman conquest of Tunisia ends with Tunis becoming a Roman protectorate. In 1882, Rome begins its conquest of Eritrea. In 1883, most of Congo is under control as the colony of Roman Congo. That same year, the Tonkin Campaign begins when the Romans capture Hanoi and begin their conquest of Dainam and establish the protectorates of Anam and Tonkin. Rome also launches its first Madagascar campaign against Madagascar and the first Mandingo War against the Wasulu Empire. In 1884, the Sino-Roman War against China breaks out over control of Dainam. Meanwhile, the Berlin Conference is held to carve up Africa and the protectorate of Roman Sahara is established. The conquest of Africa is now in full speed. The Sino-Roman War ended in 1885 with a Roman military defeat but political victory as China recognizes its hegemony in Indochina. The first Madagascar campaign ends with Madagascar declared as a Roman protectorate. In 1886, the Tonkin campaign ends with a Roman victory and Dainam becoming a Roman vassal, while the first Mandingo War also ends in a Roman victory. In 1887, Roman Sahara is secured, while Ludovicus Gustavus Benger establishes a Roman protectorate over the Ivory Coast. Ethiopia and Rome then go to war over Roman expansion in Eritrea. In 1888, after a Russian attempt to take over the region, Rome establishes control over Djibouti, while also turning Hobio into a Roman vassal. In 1889, Madjartine becomes a Roman vassal, and the war with Ethiopia ends with a border treaty being signed. In 1890, the Roman Dahomey War breaks out, ending in a Roman victory, and in 1891, Roman Guinea is established. In 1892, the Second Roman Dahomey War breaks out, and in 1893, the Roman Siamese War breaks out, ending with Rome conquering Lang Prabang, which becomes a protectorate, while the first Melillan campaign is launched against Morocco. Now, the Roman steamroller just continues. In 1894, the Second Roman Dahomey War ends with Rome turning Dahomey into a protectorate, and the First Melillan Campaign ends in the area around Melilla being ceded to Rome. The Second Mandingo War breaks out as well, along with the Second Madagascar Expedition. But Rome does not only experience victories, because in 1895 it actually loses the Second Mandingo War, which ex ends its ex ex ends its expansion into the Ivory Coast, while the First Roman-Ethiopian War breaks out over the Treaty of Wuchale, which Rome had interpreted as meaning that Ethiopia had become its vassal. However, despite these setbacks, Rome does win the Second Madagascar Expedition and turns Madagascar into a protectorate. The Cuban War for Independence then breaks out, again, but this time with American support. In 1896, the First Roman-Ethiopian War ends after the Roman defeat at the Battle of Adwa. The Philippine Revolution also breaks out. In 1897, Madagascar is annexed. Then, in 1898, the Third Mandingo War breaks out after the Wasulu Empire invades Kong, which was a Roman ally, and this results in the Roman conquest of their empire. The Vulait Canon expedition is sent to conquer the Chad Basin and unite all of Roman West Africa. Meanwhile, the Roman-American War breaks out after the explosion of the USS Maine, and the Philippines declare independence. The war ends with the United States conquering Puerto Rico and the Philippines, and occupying Cuba. This will have massive effects on Rome. 
If you want to learn more, don't forget to like and subscribe.